Welcome, we are with another episode of Pop-Up Tech Talks here at uh, Viermont in Barcelona. So I have the pleasure to have Arthur here. Arthur, can you please introduce yourself shortly? Yes, of course. Yeah. Uh, I'm Arthur Beg. Um, I work for Atos uh, as a cloud architect in their, previously in the private uh, cloud environment. Um, and now I'm uh, in the managed private cloud services for AWS. So talking about AWS, I've heard like um, VMware on AWS is highly debated, really hot topic. Can you please uh, uh, tell me a little bit more, what's your take on it? Well, I for one am very interested in that uh, because um, as I said, you know, previously I was working for um, on the VMware cloud products uh, and now I'm working on the AWS side of things. So uh, naturally, uh, it's um, a very interesting topic for me. But the interest for me is actually is not in just lift and shift um, and migration projects or DR, that, that sort of environment. I'm more interested in the integration side of things uh, where the traditional VMware sort of environment didn't have that kind of backend that AWS can provide. Uh, so uh, the resilience, durability, elasticity of those environments and storage um, that now can become available once your environment is in the VMware cloud and the back ends can be, then be served by those kind of environments. Or even the front end, where um, in the cloud front technology or um, uh, WAF um, or Route 53, which are available yeah. geographically across the world in different regions. And you can have your uh, main environment in one region, but then you can serve content all the way through everywhere in the world uh, with resilience, um, DDoS protection, and all those kind of uh, niceties that you want in your cloud environment. Um, so all those things become possible and at line speed. Um, so that's the kind of integration that gets me excited about that environment. So, so I focus, I'm focusing more on that rather than the traditional, you know, obvious uh, lift and shift type environments. I think other is trying to break boundaries there. Really exciting, really exciting. So one other thing I've heard about you is that you're a blogger. Um, can you tell me a little bit about your blogger experience in Vermont? I mean, I've seen a lot of people blogging around and taking, taking pictures and tweeting a lot, like, well, we are Vermont, right? But tell me a bit of your, like, your personal pre experience. Yes, um, I've been blogging for almost a decade now. Yeah. And uh, funny enough, I'm an official blogger for VMworld as well for the past three, four years now. Um, uh, but I started because I, you know, when you get some sort of experience, you want to help people. And um, it seemed like a good I way to do it. Uh, so to document all your problems and resolutions and the things that you want to do and share with people. Um, and now I've actually moved into blogging, uh, sorry, uh, podcasting as well. Um, Open Techcast, I'm a co-host of that. Um, so if you have not heard of Open Techcast, please go on Twitter and have a look at that. Uh, we have very nice chats. And, uh, a bit of a teaser, uh, this probably would be too late in going out, but we are having very special guests. Um, so if you have seen that by now, then, then, then you'll know uh, who that special guest was on the Open Tech Cast. I'm super excited about checking out your podcast, to be, to be honest, so make sure you check it out. Uh, one, last, one last question for you, it's really, really difficult. Batman or Superman? Oh, Batman all the way. Definitely Batman. He's deadly serious about this, I can tell. Thank you.